Hello everyone, I am using today the June limited edition kit by my credit scrapbook. I choose this paper from the kit. I just love the design. The back look this bird cute, but I am I love the, this design. I don't know the letters, the foil, and it is the photo that I'm going to use. I am thinking how I'm going to highlight the photo with the busy background of the paper. So I uh, fold a piece of paper and I trace a heart. Uh, I let you here in the corner check here. You can click here to see the unboxing video and you can see in uh, all the products that the kids has this month. It is the heart the pattern that I create with the paper and it's perfect for the size of the photo. Once I know when the heart will be or the shape, I but I decided to trace uh, this shape but on the back of the paper. So I carefully move the heart on the back, place place it in the uh, here and with my pencil, I'm going to trace to trace it on the back of the paper and now I'm going to cut cut it with my scissor in that way I create the heart shape on the paper as you see now I take my distress tool and I am distressing all the edges of the heart if you don't have this tool, you can use your scissor. It creates a chubby look on the around the heart. It looks pretty. And I cut a piece of, of one of the paper from the same collection to adhere it on the back. This collection is the Havana. 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 Na, 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 na. I remember the song that I love. The Havana collection. I take gesso now and with a paintbrush I apply uh, the gesso in the areas that I'm that I'm going to uh, I'm going to give the texture I also apply the gesso around the heart and in some areas of the paper to smooth and to soft the the, the design this is uh, one of the stencil that comes this month in the kit you receive three stencil it is from Vicky Bouton and I am adding texture with uh, this is a crackle paste and I apply with my spatula in the area that I want to give all this texture in this part of the heart I will continue like a shape around the heart and I will finish in the in the bottom corner I love the design of this stencil. It's so, so nice. And I will add a little of texture in this uh, corner here. And because I want to create like a movement with the eye when you see all this texture, I will add a tiny uh, uh, texture in this uh, top and here. And I am done with the stencil. I'm going to let it dry, but meanwhile, I am painting uh, the frame. These frames are from Creative Embellishment, and I just apply white paints, uh, acrylic paint. And now I'm with my embossing dabber. I apply it uh, to over the two frames because I want to add this embossing powder. It is from Blue Firm Studio and it's from my stuff. Now I check the excess of the powder and now I'm using my heat tool to melt the, pa the embossing powder. Look how pretty it look. It already look so nice. Now I took the two frames and I am creating uh, my composition with the photo, the frames over all the texture here. I also paint 
a piece of cheesecloth and I'm adding the fabric behind the frames I am just playing with the frames one over the other and now I add other piece of cheesecloth in the bottom of the photo once I have all the pieces and I'm happy how they look I will start to adhere but I decided at first to cut a piece of the frame I want, I'm going to move the photo and I'm going to cut this corner of the frame because I'm going to use uh, for my photo so I am adhering now all the pieces I'm going to adhere the cheesecloth and the other frame too I'm using uh, the hot glue now because I, I need that it's dry immediately so I add here also the photo I make a little of pressure and here is when I add the piece that I cut from the frame and I'm using as a corner I add a little I'm using uh, for this the tacky glue and I'm going to adhere this piece behind the photo the other frames I adhere direct to the paper now I take the uh, you receive an alphabet and ABC on the from American craft and I take uh, different letters and adhere them on the background and over the texture I am inspired by the same paper to do this because the paper has the, le the white letters and, and I try to give this to in, um, to give this effect but with the foamy letters from the kit I'm going to adhere here and there different letters around all this texture. Now I'm adding the Prima flowers from the kit. I use the big, uh, the green big flower, and now the other one, the medium uh, pink, peach. It is really peach. And I'm going to add two more flowers to the uh, other co corner of the photo here, and I'm going to adhere all the flowers now. Once I have all the flowers ready, I decided to remove this one and add a bigger flower so I remove it and I'm going to adhere this one okay now that I have all the pieces I'm going to give all the coats of gesso over the uh, letters the foamy letters and I add in the gesso also over the texture, the crackle paste. I'm applying also over the, I apply the gesso over the um, cheesecloth because it was uh, too bright the color, so I soft the color with the gesso. Here's when I take the Distress ink and put, uh, press the pad over my acrylic block and add water. I mix the water with the Distress ink and with this mix I am painting all these textures and all the letters, the foamy letters. I like that it looks soft as you see and you can uh, control how the tone of the color if you want an intense color you just need to add a liter of water now i continue uh, 
adding color over all the texture I just love this stencil guys you will love it because it gives like a dimension at the same time because the design of the stencil is like a three circles one inside the other and between each circle uh, with the modeling paste or whatever you use you will see the dimension that it creates now i'm using a second color it is like a intense it's not an intense uh, it's like a a darker color the other one is at soft this is more dark and i'm applying this color around the letters and if you see look it's similar to the color of of the photo that why i want to include the same uh, uh, tone that the uh, photo has the green and i continue applying this color around the letters and around the uh, stencil work because the the dark color create the effect of more dimension that's why i apply a second color um, darker than the first one and i will continue uh, adding uh, the color uh, over the sheet cloth and in different area here I add here now uh, our stone. These are the biggest one with gel medium. But first, I need to uh, adhere the sticket with a 3D foam tape, and I take with my brush the gel medium, put all in the areas that I want to add the our stone. These are mega our stone because are the are bigger. <laughs> I actually I am not a big fan of this size, but. Mm, once you start to use them, it, it looks more um, familiar, so I don't have any problem now. And um, and I really like now how they look, so as you see, once you start to use them, uh, it's familiar and you like it. I will add around all this texture um, uh, our stones here and there. Now I'm adding uh, micro beads in gold color. I think that it creates the balance between the foil on the background. And I just love the texture that these micro beads adds to the page. Uh, I put it uh, over the cheese cloth and you will see in the closer uh, photos at the end of the video how lovely they look. I just love how they uh, look over the she's clothes and over the letters I'm adding uh, I am hitting them with with the same gel medium I want to add this uh, ivory rose that comes in the kit so I cut a uh, few of these roses and adhere it uh, in between the big uh, the big flowers and inside the frame here once I adhere the flowers I am now adding white paint splatters around the uh, heart around the shape and in over all these textures and I add in enough of this white paint splatter you can see uh, uh, in the photos later that I enhance and I highlight the sh shape of the heart with the with the white paint splatter now if you notice uh, the flowers are peach but the flowers on the back of the paper are uh, like fuchsia pink so i take a distress ink with a brush and i am painting all the flowers with the distress ink 
it's an easy way to add color or if you have a flower and don't match exact the color that you want you can use any distress ink to paint the flowers and i'm going to paint the tiny flowers the white that i add here this one and add the same distress ink it's super easy and i can uh, give the color that i want to to my project okay this is the end uh, the my last step is uh, i take a white acrylic paint with a brush with a sponge and i am sponging all the letters the foamy letters with the white acrylic paint in that way i highlight all these letters and they match perfect with the paper and enhance all the background work i also sponging over all the textures in some area to uh, highlight the textures and the pearls and and i apply over the flowers and over the cheesecloth and i love how it looks uh, when you uh, sponge the white paint i really love how it turns i hope that you like it look all the details the textures i have a lot of fun create this page uh, i let you in the description box down below the link to the kit check the unboxing box video and uh, you can follow me in my social media i let you all the uh, my social media down below here are two more videos that maybe you are interested and i come back soon with other video tutorial nos vemos bye bye don't forget to subscribe and click the bell see you soon bye